Today, I took a look back at a three-year-old live stream, and it gave me hope. We are back with another Dragon Master Magia opening, and you might be thinking, how many openings of Dragon Master Magia is this? By the way, let me tell you right now, because I have the stats up for today's video. This will officially be the 15th opening we've done of this set. Not necessarily all of them were like necessarily geared toward getting the Magia. Like the first two, I think we weren't going too crazy for the Magia, except by the end of the live stream, we were kind of like going crazy. Like, where is it? But since then, it's been pretty insane. So probably like 11 or 12 specifically looking for this card. That is a ridiculous number. We also have been doing stats the last couple about how many packs we've opened. Currently, we've opened 2,630 packs, if my stats are correct, which I believe they're pretty close. I mean, within a few packs if I'm off at all, which I don't think I am. All right, guys, today's giveaway is a judge uh, box. So it, this doesn't have anything in it. Well, it does have stuff in it, but it's not necessarily how it came, but it's a cool box. Then it comes with these cool little Exodia pens. There's like four of them, I think. And then there's a judge lanyard as well. I'm not gonna try to show you guys that, but all that stuff will be given away to one of you guys. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below. Do you still have hope that we pulled the Dragon Master Magia or have I lost it? But the reason I have hope for this opening specifically, well, just in general about getting this card is I went back, I was doing a little stats, to try to figure out how many packs it took us to open for the Stardust Dragon. If you guys remember that back in 2021, three years ago, Dawn of Majesty released in August. We opened a bunch of packs, 10 cases actually in one in one live stream, did not pull it. So that was like 2,880 packs, which is more than we've opened for the Magia already in one live stream. Lewis was there, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh helped us open, so we were able to open a little bit quicker than me by myself but we did a ton of opening. We never pulled it until the 90,000 stream, which I don't know. Some of you guys might not have been around for that. So I'm going to play the clip real quick. Will this be it? All right, let me pull it off right this. We have the double star line case at 90,000. Yes, That was at what I said in the stream was at box 134. So I'm just gonna go with my old self and hope I was pretty close. Cause like trying to add them up three years later is gonna be really difficult. Like going through and trying to watch all the packs, not happening. So if I open 134 boxes, that is 3,216 packs. So that was 586 more packs than we've opened for this one. So while I'm talking, because this is taking a while, I'm gonna start opening these boxes or at least a couple boxes. We're still a ways away from what it took to get the Stardust. And that one was harder to pull technically cause there were five star lights in there. They were like one every 25 so it was a little bit harder ratio than the magia is so i have i'm still holding out hope i feel like look we're not even to the point we were at stardust which was the hardest one we've ever had to pull so just throwing that out there but we're not at the farthest yet once we get to the stardust that's when we really really need to freak out the 3216 packs after we open these two right here though we're gonna be almost at 2700 so we are approaching it quickly but i have some strong hope and not just because of the numbers but just watching back that stardust pull and seeing that that reaction i know i had the weird everyone thinks it's the mic is broken it's not the mic broken i had a mic filter on and that mic filter is really great because it like cuts out a lot of background noise but the problem is when you get pumped it cuts out your your voice so it's kind of a problem and i've kind of been trying to use it recently because i use it on certain things and then it, it kind of messes up the great pull so it's it's like a double-edged sword. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And that's kind of irrelevant. I just wanted to kind of mention it because I've been trying to use it again because I thought it would work a little better three years later. It doesn't actually. It doesn't really work that much better. So all that to say, I have a strong, strong feeling that we're going to be able to pull this mage yet. We're going to have the pack counter up on screen. You guys know. You guys have seen, or I just told you how many we were at. But every, every time we have a pack, it's going to go up one until we pull that sucker. And watching that Stardust Dragon pull, how pumped I was, how amazing it was. I was like, you know what? I, I got a little bit of hope. I got, I started feeling good about this again, you know? Cause after 2,600 packs, you're like, ah, I don't know if we're ever gonna get it. But then I started feeling, I was like, you know what? You know what? It's good. It's worth it. It's all worth it. It's all, it, this is the journey. The destination is great, but once you hit the destination, you know, it's over. So you got to enjoy the journey while you're on it. And right now we are on the journey. Certainly we're on a major journey, a long journey. I mean, like, look, the end of Lord of the Rings is great, but at the getting there is the best part, right? I mean, that that's the getting there is just so great 
you know, seeing all the characters grow. I am the character in this in this movie. <laughs> Technically, all you guys really are, because guess what? I've had so many emails and, and tech, not texts, but like uh, Twitter messages, Instagram messages, emails about, hey, Ruxin, I saw you were opening from Asia, so I decided to open a couple of packs. Guess what? I pulled it on my fifth pack, you know, stuff like that. Or, hey, I bought one box and, and wow, I pulled it right away. So look, there's hope. Every time we open one box, there's more hope, you know? People have done it. They're sending it to me. They're like, thank you so much for inspiring me to open it. <laughs> and I pulled it in 12 packs. So look, there's hope out there. And I have it right now. Thanks to that Stardust pull from three years ago. I can't, by the way, three over three years ago, August, three years and one month. I mean, is that not insane that it's been that long? First of all, since like 90K, which doesn't seem like that long ago. Um, plus Stardust Dragon Starlight being released was three years ago. That is insane. Like time is flying, everybody. Time is flying. I was still a young lad back then. I was still a young lad back in those days. Let me know in the comments, have you been watching since the Stardust poll? Let me know. Be honest, be honest, don't, no lying. Okay, you gotta be, tell the truth. Or you might not have even been watching the whole time, but how, were you watching when the Stardust was pulled? I wanna know, because that was actually a live stream, so that was pretty crazy. The 90K special, I, I totally, like somehow I had forgotten that that happened at the 90K special. When I was re-watching it, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that this was like at the end of this stream. It, like how insane is that? And that was literally like one of the best pulls ever and I like forgot. Like that's crazy. That is crazy, that's just time for you. You just start forgetting things no matter how cool it was. So it's cool, it always is cool to go back and revisit some of that stuff. I was skimming through that stream trying to figure out how many packs were open and then I ended up saying it at the end. But it was interesting because like right, it was right before football season, kind of like right now, what it's technically starting now, but we were talking about like NFL and, and NBA and all this stuff. And that's always really interesting to listen to like three or four years later, you know, because like what did we think about that stuff three years ago, you know? And so it is cool to have those live streams as like sort of time capsules of just chit chat, you know? And versus the videos where you won't mention as much of the current, you know, events going on versus the live stream, you're probably mentioning all of them because it's three or four hours. Like you're gonna talk about everything going on at the moment. And I'm sure in that live stream, we'll be talking about a fast food tier list in there. <laughs> One day, well, some of those places are gonna be closed and we're like, oh yeah, remember when we thought like a uh, Subway was B tier or whatever? And now what a Subway, like <laughs> that, like that kind of stuff is gonna happen at some point because we're gonna be like 50 years old. Okay, uh, wonky, we have synchro, we have oil, that's a card. So far, not much, but guess what, guys? All it takes is one pack. We've got the Magia mat on screen. That will be used until we pull the Magia. And FYI, guys, uh, we are getting close to the 250K special. So I want you guys to put in the comments anything you want to see for the 250K besides the every pack opening, the MFC opening, and I'm doing another cool opening as well. So there's a few days that I need to fill in for what we're going to do because I want to have a full seven day week, if possible, for the 250K special. But it is sneaking up on me like really quickly now because you guys have been subscribing like crazy. So thank you guys for doing that. Keep hitting that sub button and also give me some suggestions for what you want to see because we're going to have a pretty epic week of celebration the thing about doing a week though is we are gonna have to schedule it around like new releases so like if there's a new release one week we might have to delay it to the week after or whatever but it should work out fine because usually there's not like there's never back-to-back -back releases or anything so it'll work out even if it does fall in like new release week we'll make it work so i'm very pumped i, I mean every pack opening is gonna have a magia pack in it honestly that's the one i'm the most scared of <laughs> Like I'm gonna open and get a Magia and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Like I'm gonna lose my voice one pack in, you know, it's like one of the newest sets. And then I'm gonna have to open another 300 packs basically and finish it off. Okay, Ritual Beast. Uh, yeah, so that is a little bit scary, but I, it would be worth it. It would definitely, it would be, it would make that. I mean, honestly, the best pull of the video would be in the first like five minutes, which would be really weird. Cause like the Magia, me pulling the Magia is as good as pulling something like First Dead, like Elowin or something like, it's better than that. The only thing better is like pulling an ultra from LOB, maybe like that kind of stuff is like the level we're at for Magia because of how much we've opened for it. We are we're like we're 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 up there. It's it's going to be intense. And by the way, I put like two boxes in front of us. That doesn't necessarily mean that's all we're opening today. Yeah, that's just kind of like that's what we're starting with. OK, because I am Lancia. Is it Lancia? That's the good one. Or is it the other one? Because I pulled one in the last video and I was like, oh, this is a ten dollar card. I totally forgot how good this was. But I always get those two confused, the uh, synchro guys. 
One of them is like a $1 card and one's like a $10 card. And I think Trishula might be the worst one, maybe. And then Lancey has the $10 card. I can't remember exactly, but either way, they're they're both decent because they're a dollar. Um, and so far, you know, we paid 75 a box on this case that I'm opening right now. I mean, we pretty you pretty much have to pull a QCR to make your money back because like uh, Ubell is like a $39, $40 card now. So not even half your box. I mean, well, it is half your box, but not a, not a full box like it was at the beginning. Now it's more like a a little bit over half your box. And then you really got to get like Lancia and like Lara. And like you're still like a little bit short. Do I see something back there? How many cards is that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Every time we get one, every time we get one, 4% chance. Not big. One in 25, but it just takes one. And please look, okay, all I'm asking here, I'm not even asking for the Magia. Just don't be the Shining Star Dragon. Can we like give us a decent QCR? Like if we get one, just give us a decent one. Look, I have hope right here. I told you, I watched the Stardust opening. The Stardust opening, will it bring us the luck right here? Pretty early in the video, let's see. <sighs> Dragon Master Magia. We have now opened, well, how many packs is this? Let's see, three, six, nine, 12, I'm, I'm miscounting, 15, 18-ish. So we started with 48, so we've opened 30 packs. So we've now opened 2,660 packs for this card. That's a lot of packs. Is this the last pack we will ever have to open from this set? No, it's a brand infusion, which is a good QCR. So I cannot complain. This will actually, it's about a box cost. So. That is, I think the last time I pulled it, it was 77 bucks. Could have gone down. Oh, wait, it's limited to one now. It's probably down. Limited to one. Good old ban list. Hitting my QCR. Still probably better than the, uh, what was the other one? The Shining Star Dragon. Okay. I'm not giving up yet today. I'm not giving up yet today. A QCR is a QCR. I will take that. It's a pretty decent one. I don't know how bad the, the value got hurt. You guys will have seen it on the screen, but hopefully not too bad. But being limited instead of at three, that's definitely going to impact the value because you only need to play one, not three. So... I mean, that is it, literally a third of the amount of cards you need to play. So I'm, I'm guessing a lot of Brandon players probably kept their three ofs just in case, you know, when it gets taken off the ban list, because, you know, it's Brandon Fusion is a great card, but I doubt it's going to stay on the ban list forever, right? It's not going to stay limited forever. It's I've heard Brandon's not even like that great right now, which sorry, Brandon players, but I'm guessing that's the case. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it was good enough to at least put it one, but maybe not. Well, you never know because they did a lot of change, like 29 changes in the last ban list. So it could have uh, it could have just been to shake things up. And, that, you know, because branded people are very into their branded cards, which I respect. Infernoid Evil, few packs left. Uh, I did shovel these, so I don't know which box that came from. It could be in the second box, Sing Engine, or the first box. It's hard to say. But either way, we're going to try and open it. I really hope this case we got has four QCRs. Um, you never really know because they range from two to four. So that could technically be all the QCRs in the case, but we pulled them so early, I feel like there's gotta be at least one more in the case. And then there's probably, there's probably a chance at another one if we pull it fairly soon, but I don't know how, I don't know if they case map at all. I don't really usually do that with my cases because I always usually open them on live stream and just kind of mix them all up. So opening them like a few boxes at a time like this, we don't normally do. So maybe we'll find out a little new info as we go a qcr early on not too shabby not too shabby sky striker ace azalea temperance a double qcr pull in this video would be pretty sick let's try and do that let's try and turn this thing around into oh there's a lara that's a nice pull okay that's only like nine bucks now it's not as big as it was it was like 17 or something but it's slowly been going down but either way it's not a bad card divide of the herald that's a dollar or so I'm adding all those up, you know, just to make a little bit back. That's another one. That's like four to seven bucks, I think. So honestly, we're getting a few good pulls out of here. We just can't have you bell. I mean, throw that in there. We actually might be close to breaking breaking even. We'll be a little short, I think, but I would still take a U Bell. That wouldn't be bad. Opening this $900 case, we're probably gonna get back like with U Bells, you probably get like two to three. If we get three, that's 120 bucks. Uh our two QCR so far are worth maybe like 80 bucks. So uh that's eight that's two hundred dollars then a few other cards here and there i mean we're probably getting back 300 maybe 
I mean, of course we have videos, so the videos are gonna help like in that regard, but in terms of just straight up, like what you get when you pull, uh, not gonna be incredible in terms of value coming back to us. Plus all the fees and shipping people don't consider. You don't just get that back as well. Like when you sell a card, you gotta ship it. And then when it's over 25, I always do tracking. So that's a $4 subtraction there, which is pretty brutal. It adds up. So yeah, we're not making a ton of money back on these cases, but the content, is epic and really the goal is going to be epic you know the journey as i mentioned has been pretty fun and once we hit that goal it's all going to be worth it three packs left we're going to open another box after this if we don't pull it in the next three packs because we're not giving up at two boxes today sprite blue another great card we've only pulled one of each of those in two boxes though which is pretty wild shining star our nemesis at least not qcr this time two packs of magia left we are not going to give up just yet our hope has returned I, wanna, I need to add up the number of QCRs we've actually pulled. That would be interesting to see. Because you could just divide, but I think some of us, some of them only had like two. I think we had one, two QCR case or something like that, which is pretty brutal. Gen X, we have White Circular Reef and the Ritual Beast. Could just do the straight out math of what it probably would be, which would be like 28, 29, something like that is probably how many we've pulled. I think we did have a four QCR case, so maybe it evened out. Cause we're at, we were at 9.13 cases open before this video. So then add another three boxes to that. So getting really close. We're going to be after this, this box right here, we're gonna be over 2,700 packs. It's 2,630 plus 72, that's 2,702. We're gonna be at 2,700 packs. We are really getting close to passing that Stardust. But guess what? I believe that we will, we're gonna, we're gonna beat the start of Phantom of You Bell. That's a great start to that box. Add another 40 back. That's not too bad. 40 minus fees on TCG minus $4 shipping. So we're probably looking at $32, something like that. Not incredible, but almost half our box. Infernoid Flood. Yeah, I mean, it is incredible compared to everything else for non-QCR, so that's not horrible. Uh, by the way, if you guys do want to support the channel, and besides that, uh, you can go check out my TCG player, which is where I will list this kind of stuff. The lower end or like meta kind of stuff I usually put on TCG. And then for like older school, sealed product, PSA cards, all that stuff goes on my website, ruxon34.com, if you guys haven't checked that out yet. That is also something I am constantly updating with tons of new product, tons of new cards. So keep an eye out for all that stuff. That's where I sell my stuff. And of course, you know to sub and check out Wheel Goat on Fridays, which has been consistent. We are on episode, by the time you see this, we've done 10 episodes. Episode 11 is coming out on Friday. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be awesome. And I forgot to mention this Thursday's Whatnot stream, which is going to be insanity. Something else I've never pulled, which is the Stardust Dragon Ghost Rare First Edition. Not just Unlimited, which I also haven't pulled, but first edition. That's going to be live on Whatnot on Thursday. So if you have not hopped on over to Whatnot, make sure you guys go over there. $15 free credit if you sign up with my link and you're a new user on whatever you buy. It doesn't have to be for me. It can be anybody on Whatnot. It doesn't have to be cards. It can be watches. It could be shoes. It could be whatever. Any of that stuff is available over there. So use my link, get $15 credit and support the channel, then go follow me and uh, bookmark the stream because our stream is going to be crazy. I'm hoping we get that Stardust for somebody. It would be insanity. Insanity and all that talking just to pull the Magia right here. Nope, Legendary Exodia, not bad. Okay, a few more packs, guys, a few more packs. Let me know in the comments, are you still holding out hope? Do you believe in the hope that I have rediscovered by re-watching the Stardust pull or do you think I'm insane? Do you think I'm never gonna pull it? Let me know in the comments. I wanna know down below. It's gonna be epic. Did I ever do the giveaway? I don't think I did the giveaway. Well, I'm going to retroactively announce the giveaway. Okay, a few more packs. Dragon Master Magia. I believe in you. You will bring us back from the abyss. Blaze, I think it's not a good card, but might be a dollar, we'll see. Couple more cards. We have the Infernoid, Orcus, Toy Soldier. Come on, Toy Box. Void Imagination. Probably like 10-ish packs left. Gotta pull something crazy. Infernoid, Sprite Gamma Burst, Void Reignition, Sacrifice, and Ice Jade Ran. Egrine, Egg Egrine. <sighs> pack, pack, pack. Will you bless us with something amazing, man? Give us a second QCR. This will be halfway through this other case, by the way. After we finish this, we'll have six boxes left in there. I have a, a few other boxes besides that, so it's not completely over. I have been checking out Walmarts and Targets in my area, seeing if they restock, and guess what? They haven't. Nothing. There's no Mazia anywhere. 
I really want to make a trip at some point to somewhere farther away, you know, just see if they may. There's like some Walmarts people don't really go to very often. Maybe there are some packs there. So I might give that a shot at some point. Let's see if we can pull something crazy so we don't have to do that. We'll see. We'll see. We have the Wing Creebo level six with six packs left. Is that a sign? Six with six left. Two from the back. We have Medallion, Hexaspirit, Mirror Match, Arbitration, and Repair Gen X Controller. Five packs left in this video. We are almost to the 2700th pack, by the way, which would be this one. Okay, so two more after this to get there. Sacrifice level up and Ritual Beast. All right, 2699th pack right here. 2699 packs opened. Will this be the one? Mirror Mage. Okay, the 2700th pack open. Actually, I. It's either or it's 2,699 because we didn't open that one pack for for the every pack opening. So maybe this is 2,699. I think it is 2,699. So we're going to call this one 2,700. This is the 2,700th pack. Show us a little shine. Get a, get us pumped. Here we go. Infernoid Sprite Sprint. We have Pilar, Gen X, and another branded fusion. Okay, limited to one. And the final pack of the day. If you guys have missed the rest of the Magia openings, it will be in the Magia play or go check out the Magia playlist. It'll be on the screen. Here we go. Come on. Two from the back. Let's do this. Let's pull something in the last pack magic halfway through this other case. And a ritual beast. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this because uh, I'm not giving up, guys. I have newfound hope. I believe this is not discouraging me. I believe we're going to pull it very Shout out to Tone Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.